Matt Gale. I am uh, the Director of Go-To-Market and Strategic Alliances for our Salesforce.com practice at NTT Data. Jason Boggs, I lead our Cloud Ecosystems and Enablement team at NTT Data Services. Yeah, for me, um, I, you know, I would end each day, I would start each day, I should say, with the best of intentions, with a lot of energy, and realize that I, at the end of the day, I almost end up depressed because I was so tactical, right? There were just so many things, calls, spreadsheets, things that really did, wasn't driving the strategy that my bosses had given me to drive. Um, which is ultimately what led me to find a tool like Workspan because I had no insight and it really, really bothered me that, you know, my boss couldn't call me at any point in time and say, hey, in the Alliance Constellation, what's our year to date with partner X? What's the problem with partner Z? Right? I can't, I could not answer that question unless I had an anecdotally in my head because I just spoke to them like half an hour ago. So that's really the, the difference that I'm seeing as we transition from the way it used to be to using a tool like Workspan. Yeah, that's great. Um, Jason, your thoughts also? You know, I think, uh, Matt, I think you hit it, you know, right on the head. I think that's exactly the kind of issues that I had. Um, and, you know, Matt and I both came out of delivery roles over the years, and we were used to having tools and processes and metrics that we can actually point to on a regular basis and then we both moved into alliances and none of that existed so we mm -hmm. were kind of left to our own devices <laughs> and uh, it's it's uh, it gets really messy really quick especially if you start introducing you know multiple uh, partners into one solution um, you know the, the more you add the more you know it just exponentially gets more complicated so we needed something to um, to measure and to manage that. Yeah, I think uh, the probably the wholly inaccurate phrase that I've used is that is standardizing the Alliance API. It's completely inaccurate, but you get my point. The point being, you know, I have let's say twenty Alliance partners. Each partner uses a different uh, spreadsheet. Each partner uses a different cadence. Each partner requires a standing uh, touch base call, an hour plus, right? Yep. Each partner requires us to go in and log a deal with this ACB, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. So everything looks different. Now you take the, and it doesn't, you know, when you say 20, it doesn't sound big, but you multiply that across the week and it's 80% of our job. Yep just doing the tactical stuff. Right. So operationalizing to the point uh, with a tool like Workspan where we can abstract our reporting, really see what we're reporting, see pipeline, right? It's just, that's almost, you think in this advanced age is 2019, we don't see that unless we explicitly go to a partner and say, drop me a report of your pipeline, send it to me. Then I have to go through the manual process of matching it up to what's in our pipeline and or prospects or suspects or whatever the case may be. So that aspect of oper operationalization is absolutely key and I think the very first win for us at NTT Data is the fact that we're going to be able to work across our joint pipelines and really understand what the business looks like, uh, how big is the total addressable market really. And, and then go attack it as sensible partners together. Matt hit it on the head again. I mean, I think, um, you know, the, uh, my work day was essentially the same. I mean, we, you know, would spend 80% of our time doing tactical work and then 20% maybe strategic work, um, you know, figuring out joint solutions and joint sales and joint marketing. Um, in that tiny amount of time, um, and the, me the needle, needle never moved, um, and so that's why, you know, we, we uh, decided to go with Workspan to, to flip that, you know, so we're 80% focused on 
strategy and, and figuring out what can we do to go to market together with our partners to provide value for our customers um, and then let the software and let the process take care of the rest of it. I mean, it's a, it's a really interesting um, dynamic. Um, you know, we're to the point where we are dependent on partners for our solutions and our ultimately our revenue and you know our paychecks. And <laughs> um, you know, it's it's been a real uh, struggle to go from being a system integrator where we built everything ourselves. Um, we really didn't have partners, or if we did, it was limited, or they were more of a, a vendor. Um, into you know actually building something where we took the best of a particular partner and matched it with the best of what we have and go to market with that and we we saw that you know our customers were excited about that that hey we can go to one place you know and get a, a solution that we would have never been able to build ourselves um, and so that's really kind of um, you know the onus for going to workspan so we could really operationalize and focus on that strategy and actually have our partners engage in that process with us and before that we we just didn't have it i mean we had email and we had sharepoint sites and spreadsheets and everything else but um now we're able to actually you know accelerate that process mm -hmm. that that uh, uh yeah, that solution process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you, you as well. You yeah, I, I think of it in terms of, you know, our boss is telling us, drive the digital agenda with our clients. Right? Big 100,000 foot strategy idea that drills down into really pragmatic kind of stuff that, that Jason had alluded to. Uh, but as an alliance professional, I look at that and I think, okay, what does that actually mean? How do we, how do we, okay, drop that down a level? What are our partners doing at driving the digital agenda with our clients, and then figuring out where we marry up, because that's where our value add is, right? At the end of the day, that's I think for alliances, it's value creation. Yeah. And the problem that we have, as we alluded to earlier, is you can you know spend 80 percent of your weeks tied up in the tactical that you're never really driving the value that you're supposed to be driving strategically when you get a mandate like drive the digital agenda with the clients right you don't, you don't even think about it because you're too busy emailing spreadsheets and, and doing various and sundry things so that's i think where alliance professionals need to get is driving that value creation to say this was the mandate here's maybe the you know the the 10 principles of what our leadership wants to do. And this is I'm kind of mirroring what NTT Data is doing in the marketplace right now. And now, how do we drop that down into our alliance partners, marry it up with our unique IP, our unique point of view on the marketplace, our unique skill set that goes back decades in every in name and industry, right? We have all this uh, industry expertise. How do you take all that, put it together, and run a functional alliance? So you're taking viable solutions to the marketplace that clients actually want and that are actually solving the client's problems. That, to me, is the holy grail of Alliance work. And I think that's where WorkSpan provides as a platform a, um, you know, a means to do these things to where we can actually see it. That's the thing, right? So we have, let's say we have XYZ insurance offering, XYZ health plan offering. We don't. We can't visualize the people involved with that offering. We can't visualize. We can't visualize the assets associated with that offering. Mm -hmm. It's in the emails. It's in a SharePoint site. It's in a and Workspan just brings it all together. So I see the people involved. I see the communication. I see the assets associated with it. Mm -hmm. A salesperson calls me and says, "Hey, I just spoke with Acme Health Co. and our health plan offering is going to just be a huge hit there. Can you send me?" The introduction deck. Can you send today? It's you know digging around on my you know share, SharePoint site or digging around on my hard drive, right? And that's again the the tactical stuff that's going to just leave you to just give us back so much time, so that guys like Jason and I, uh, and I are thinking far more uh, strategically and doing what we're chartered to do.